in the name of signs and wonders, in the name of God performing unusual miracles of the Apostle Paul, in the name of Peter's shadow casting out demons, in the name of Jesus using mud, in the name of all these things, in the name of anointing oil, witches and warlocks are deceiving people daily with their incantations, with their rituals, with their theatrics, with their antics, with all of these unbiblical demonstrations and items that are actually bewitching people. Now, there are so many false prophets that will abuse scripture, manipulate it, take it out of context to give you anything, like to give you a remote and tell you, okay, this remote is gonna bless you. This remote is gonna allow you to get any woman you want, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there is just this trend in the church amongst false churches and false prophets that they are, they are making you have faith in items. Okay, they're making you have faith in items, not Jesus, but faith in the items. And now you pursue the items, not prayer and fasting, not purity, not Jesus, but you are pursuing the items. Now, in this video, Maddie Nottage sells, begins to promote a pillow called The Power to Dream Again. Now, on her website, this pillow is $75 and it says to activate prophetic dreams. Okay. Um, I'm going to post a, a photo of it from her website, all right? $75, all right? And she, and, and people in her church and her congregation, they all have these pillows and they sleep with it to, you know, dream and whatnot, not to have bad dreams, to remember their dreams and whatnot. And I have brought many women through deliverance, but I want to show you this video, then we will talk about it a little more, all right? Look at that I pillow. prophesy that this year, even in this hour, as you rest your head to sleep uh, upon your anointed pillow. Anointed pillow, okay? Anointed pillow. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, as you let rest your head uh, upon the pillow uh, to sleep, uh, that dreams uh, and visions uh, shall come to you. Uh, not only shall they come to you, uh, but with the dreams uh, that heaven will open, uh, and you will have uh, angelic uh, visitation uh, from the spirit. I receive angelic visitations from the spirit simply by buying that pillow for $75 laying on it and then now you're going to have angelic visions angelic encounters your angels are going to visit you you're going to have dreams and visions not because of the holy spirit alone but because of the pillow this is a a gross deception and all these women here are naive listen i've brought a few women through deliverance that i've bought this pillow they went on Maddie Nottage's site and thought she was the most anointed woman. And they went there and they bought all of her items. The, 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 this lady brought it, bought it and her mother-in-law bought it too. I brought them both through deliverance and they were manifesting like crazy, like aggressively. And that dream pillow didn't do nothing. She, she was still having demonic dreams. Her situation did not change. Look at all these women with the pillow. Look, look at them holding the pillow. 70 75 dollars they think the faith is in the pillow in jesus name i receive it in jesus name in the name of jesus wave your pillows wave look wave, wave your, your pillows. pillows you see all the people with the pillows as if the pillow is something that's going to benefit you. Something that's really coming from the throne room of heaven. Oh my goodness. All over the pillow, wave your pillows. All over the pillow, wave your pillows. This is pure deception. Hold on, hold on. Listen, pure deception. I'm not gonna put my faith in the pillow. I almost got caught up there. I'm not gonna do that. That's witchcraft, that's demonic. And some of you are having demonic dreams because you're putting your head on something that's straight witchcraft. Pillows. Look at all these women and men with 
pillows. My God. Deception. Someone will come to you and give you a diaper. Luckily, I don't have my son's diaper here. I'll show y'all a clean diaper. And some of you will say, yes, man of God, go deeper. We want a diaper. And you'll put the diaper on your head. We're, we are such a bewitched generation. This is unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Everybody has their... Like, usually people have their hands up. But now, I guess this is the new thing. I guess that's a new thing. I don't even want to touch this pillow. Because, you know, I'm not going to partake in this. Like, are you joking me with the pillow, bruh? This is full-blown sorcery. Like... I've seen her do things with birthday cake, wearing other people's shoes and jumping around, now pillows. And I've seen her do things with salt water. Like, now this scene right here, supposedly there was this girl that was struggling with demonic dreams. She couldn't dream, she couldn't remember her dreams and whatnot, couldn't sleep at night. So Maddie Nottage is making her sleep on her dream pillow so she can have rest to promote the dream pillow. So she can have rest and have good dreams, or remember her dreams and whatnot. So the the pillow is giving her the power to dream, the power to sleep, the power to have rest, and all this stuff. It's just pure deception, all right. And she has a bed. This is like hypnosis. She has a bed in her church. First of all, I believe it's one hundred percent staged, but I also believe it's one hundred percent witchcraft. All right. So she has a bed in her church, just waiting. Can you see clearly? This girl is knocked out. Maybe somebody should come and check for me. Anyone, well, a female from the audience. Deep sleep. Yes. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Yes. I have somebody from over there come and check this lady. Deep sleep. I mean, like it's mind boggling. That people are falling for this. Mind boggling. And I'm mostly seeing women here. I'm mostly seeing women here. And there's some women that have fought me verbally regarding Maddie Nottage. They will defend her witchcraft to the grave. And did I tell her to move this woman blanket? <laughs> they will quote the scriptures, you know, God did on you know, you can't put God in a box. God performed extraordinary miracles with Apostle Paul. Now, because people abuse that scripture, they will say anything can be of God. Oh, someone's going to give you headphones right now. You put the headphones in. You're, you're healed from, a, from a, a headache. You put these in, you're healed completely. That's the deception within the church. That's the deception within the church right now where people are just going to items and using any item they can for anything. Anybody else want to come? Come over here, one person. Just check. Oh, she's in a deep sleep. Mm -hmm. Deep sleep. Try to touch again. 
She's probably dead. Who knows? Probably all the way. You know, she's probably dead from that witchcraft. You know, you know, probably woke up in the pit for all we know. Because you know why? Because she is an actor. Now, I believe it's always 100% witchcraft, but I also believe there are actors, and I believe this is 100% actor. And the Bible talks about false testimonies, you know, and if you bear false, te- if you give a false testimony, the Bible talks about, listen, it's a sin. The Bible talks about in the book of Matthew, out of the heart come uh, evil thoughts, uh, sexual immorality, uh, adultery, false testimony, slander, all those things come out of the heart. So she's manifesting the wickedness in her heart by being an actor. One day she's going to have to repent because this is straight ridiculous. She went back. Look at that. She's going back to sleep. Look at it. Wow. Are you seeing? Good morning. This is like a movie. Like a comedy show. Everyone's laughing. Full-blown witchcraft. Full-blown acting. Full-blown sorcery. And people are there, praise God. (laughs) Deception. Good morning. How are you? Hypnosis. Listen, so many people are going to go to hell for being actors. So many people are going to go to hell for lying and promoting witchcraft. This is witchcraft. You're late for work. Are you off today? Huh? Good morning. You're late for work. Are you off today? In church. What are you doing sleeping in God's holy house? (laughs) You hypnotized her, Maddie. Or she's an actor. (coughs) How are you? Okay. You all right? Yes. You were in a deep sleep there. Yeah? Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Now you see you can sleep. Yes, I can. You're free now. Mm-hmm. I'll pull off. So you're free now because of the pillow. What did you dream? You. Huh? Walking down a flight of stairs at the airport and I saw you. Just now. Yes. And what happened after that? And then. Speak up. And then I started praising God and telling him thank you. But I just kept seeing you smiling. Ah. That's fake right there. So, number one, to see that, that's a, that's a revelation of a spiritual spouse right there, spiritual wife. You, you, you sleep on a pillow that she has, that she's selling for $75. And then you go to sleep and you find yourself in an airport. You're walking down a flight of the stairs and you see her standing there, smiling. And you start praising God. Idolatry. You start praising God because you see Maddie nodded. Idolatry. And you see her smiling. Looks so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> this is like almost lustful. Oh, you were so beautiful. Listen, my people of God, stop being bewitched, okay? Um, I've exposed this false prophet for too long now and i can't imagine anything worse happening i wouldn't be surprised if she started using diapers baby wipes salt and pepper i would not be surprised i wouldn't be surprised if she started using ice cream toothbrushes to be able to prophesy, I would not be surprised because we're so deep in the last days that people think a move of God is sleeping on pillows for $75 
so you can so you, dreams can be activated. Eating cake, oh, for for for, for deliverance and healing and breakthrough, oh, witchcraft. The Bible says, "My people perish for the lack of knowledge." Oh my goodness.